Hey guys, welcome to another video at Sweevil's Garage. So today, I wish we were working on the Mustangs, but we aren't. We're doing something a little different. I know most of my subscribers are Mustang guys, and I, honestly, the Mustang content will never stop. It's just slow because it's winter, and I don't really build my stuff over the winter. I'm always busy. So today, my wife bought some parts for her car. One was a wing, or a wang. This is what I say. So we're going to be installing that short little video, spit out some content, I'm trying to do one a week. And uh, like I said, I kind of run out of stuff to do. So we're going to be replacing the wing. I think she got an APG wing, which is one of the better ones for these cars. She wanted a big one. So we will be taking that one off. I hope that there's not a hole in the middle, but I'm not sure. So that's what we'll be doing in this video. She's almost home, it came today, so I'll video her opening it if she will let me. If not, the next scene will just be the wing. So she hates the camera, so we'll see how it goes. Ugh. All right guys, I got her to let me video it. We'll see how this goes. This is the APG, right? What? APG wing. I think so, because APR. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> nothing about these. I'm pretty sure it is. We're about uh, to find out. They packaged it pretty well from what I see. Because I didn't carry it down the steps. I just kicked it. Fucking kick you. <sighs> you have to set your camera down to help me for a second. Is it glued? They're stapled. It's packaged so well she can't even open it. You're not the one that only got new toys. Oh man. Yeah, see? Make it fun of me. I got my side. side. I got my side. I my side. <sighs> wow, look at this. <laughs> this is the most uh Wait. Oh, hold on. most difficult box opening ever. APR, it. she I was knew right. It. I'm more into American cars. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, guys, I'll uh, show it to you once we get all the bubble wrap off. But look at this packaging, A plus, A plus. <laughs> so much bubble wrap. Oh. Look at that. That's freaking nice. Oh my wow. God. That's high that's high quality uh -uh. carbon. What, what, what? Look at that though. I can let's see. Oh wait, that. it's just Oh my look at god. that. She fixes cars too. Oh my god, I had a hard time. I was gonna say this thing looks so nice, I doubt there's imperfections. Look at that. I wonder they charge so much for stuff. How much was this? Like $2,300. Jeez. Holy cow, look at the brackets. Pretty fancy. Can't wait to lay on it. You're funny. All right, let's open the rest and start putting it on. Oh, like a three-part video, kind of. So we're finishing the Corvette. That's a video. And then my wife is doing some stuff to her GTR. We're doing it together, kind of. I'm gonna be painting it. We're doing a front end conversion and adding an APR wing. So that'll be another video. And then if you guys followed me for a while now, last year, I brought my nice 2003 Terminator to uh, this show called Winter Festival Wheels. 
it's a big car show here locally that's always in the winter obviously the name and uh, it's huge it goes to charity i'm not sure which one but it's always a big turnout because everyone's bored and sick of sitting at home well this year i'm going to bring the corvette and my wife's car because i bought a vendor booth for my shop i wasn't going to enter this year because if you guys follow, I was going to paint the pace car and we've been building it for the show. Well, the shop has gotten extremely busy from uh, insurance jobs, people crashing in the winter and stuff. So that wasn't going to make it and then I wasn't going to go. And uh, the guy with the Corvette would like to show his car off. He spent a lot of money on it. And then this is the last year they're doing this show. So I figured my wife could throw her car in there. So. We're bringing those two cars. It is currently Sunday right now. I'm at the shop. Shop is stupid busy. I shouldn't even be doing this Winterfest show, to be honest. I don't really need the advertising either. It's, I don't know. But this Gladiator needs to be painted the whole side. I still have the Impala. The bumper just showed up. I just painted it last night, so that's gonna get on, and that car's done as of today. That's why I'm here. That'll be finished. 350Z over there, I've had for like two or three weeks. I kind of put it off a few days because he bought Duraflex bumper for the back, which if you guys know, they are a nightmare. So I spent days fixing that, priming it, fixing it again because you miss stuff because they come in black, flat black. So I'm gonna try to get that almost tidied up today also. And then my wife's bringing her car in here because we were doing the 17 and up front bumper conversion, I believe it is. I don't know a ton about GTRs, we just have one. So she'll be bringing that and that's what this video is gonna be is getting her car ready. And then the next video will be at Winterfest showing the cars off all done. So we're gonna be I'm gonna get these cars knocked out. She's gonna drive her car here in the snow, and bad roads, slowly. We're gonna get that here and then we're gonna to start to work on it. So stay tuned, it's gonna be sweet. Hopefully everything turns out. I have a lot to do on the Corvette still and her car and it's Sunday. We have to drop them off Thursday this week to be in the show, like set it up. So here we go. Let's see if we can make it happen. All right, guys, got it at home. Gonna bring the car to the shop. First time it's seen snow since we've owned it. So we'll see how it does. <laughs> Please she doesn't wreck it. It's gonna look totally different. All right, guys, it's the next day. So I'm starting to paint the spoiler on the C8. And then I remembered the GTR bumper has license plate holes. Huge ones, man. We do not want those. And there's not a piece that covers this. So I am going to start filling those. And as they dry, I'm going to sand the C8 spoiler. So I can knock out two things at once because the fiberglass takes a while to dry. So I'll be working on this and that at the same time. And then when I paint that, I'll prime this in the booth and bake it, and then this will be ready to spray tonight. So I think I'm gonna stay late tonight and get this bumper painted on the GTR. That way the Corvette and the GTR are both painted, and it's Monday, so it'd give three days for the stuff to dry before the show. So that's what I'm gonna start on now, and we'll get going. All right, guys, uh, fiberglass is dry. I know it's overkill, for those two little spots, I did this whole thing, mesh and uh, resin. I hit it with 80 grit just by hand, scuffing up the bumper. So that'll easily hold till 200 miles an hour. <laughs> so now we're gonna flip it around and uh, take the tape off. See how nice and flat that fiberglass is? And then we're gonna sand the front. Perfect. Now I'll sand the front and we'll put a light coat of Bondo on and blend it out. And this will be gloss black, so it's got to be perfect. So looks pretty good though so far. 
All right, guys, got the holes shaved. So now I'm gonna put a few coats of primer. I'm gonna spread it out a ways because this was flat here. So we gotta hide this transition. I transitioned way out here, so it really hides the holes. So we'll do three coats of primer. Once I sand the primer, you'll never know they're there. So let's get this primed. I'm gonna prime these while I paint those for the 350Z. So two birds and one stone, it's pretty late on a Monday. My brain is mush right now, but we're gonna get this thing primed so we can paint it tomorrow. All right guys, almost forgot to film. Boost on so it might be hard to hear me. We shaved the holes, scuffed the bumper, primed the grill piece because it's chrome, and uh, we're about to spray. So this is gonna be black. The inside of this is gonna be black, black. Center of this black, and I think what this is too. So this whole opening will be black. And uh, that piece over there goes in here for the air vent. So I'm painting black so you, if you bend down it won't look weird. So pearl white and black. So try coat two tone. Here we go. Alright guys, we have this awesome pearl white color I needed the car because I'm, I'm probably going to end up blending the fenders for sure but I don't like to get too much I get overwhelmed in a sense when I have everything in front of me and I'm two-toning so I'm doing the bumper by itself two-toning it spraying it with whatever one I decide see how different they are this is the same paint coat there's four variances I have cards for three but what I'm saying is I'm going to spray the bumper when it's dry, I'm going to see if it's good enough because on a car like this, you don't want to just paint fenders anyway unless you have to. So I'm going to spray the bumper, two-tone it, blah, 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 get it done. And then I'm going to see how close it is. If it's not close enough, I'm going to mix extra paint when I spray the bumper so I have leftovers to blend the fenders. And if I don't have to blend the fenders, just throw the paint away. So we're going to look at the variances right now, show you how different this same paint coat is hers i think is that one but this one's close too but you guys might think they're close now but when i get the light on it watch this they change even more so i think it's the front one the middle one's close too this one's way too yellow but i'm gonna pick one and we're gonna go start spraying the bumper Alright guys, I went to lunch while the base coat dried so I can tape it off. Hopefully nothing pulls when I unmask it, but we're about to do the center black like she wanted. So it's going to be pearl white, black, and then the pearl white and the grill right here. So it'll look cool once it's all contrasted. And I have the other parts over here. The cover and the inlet and then the tin square. So on black and then clear. All right guys, got the black laid down. As you can see where I filled the holes, nice and smooth. Let's pray that the tape don't screw up the base coat at all in the white. Let's get it unmasked. Alright guys, got everything done, masking turned out awesome, so it's going to look sweet, time for some clear. There 
it is, all cleared up. It turned out freaking awesome. My wife better be happy. Because uh, the front piece had turned out good too. So, yeah, it's gonna look sick. For my YouTube video. Good, I'm so excited. Don't touch this, it. it's still there. Yeah, I'm gonna just get a finger up out of it. It looks good. Like a professional did it? I mean, sort of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, guys, Corvette's out of here. I gotta pull the Gladiator in and two other insurance jobs outside. But before I do that, I'm gonna get this bumper swapped. So I got the hoist is too weird. It won't get all four, so I just jacked the front up like this, just enough to work on it. But man, you got all these bolts and stuff, or covers underneath all the bolts because the car's so stupid fancy. But I'm about to get the bumper off and get it swapped over because this has to go to the show tomorrow. So tonight, my goal is to see how far off the bumper is since it's pearl white. If it's too far, I'll bun the fenders. If it's close enough for the show, I'll leave it for now, but we'll see. All right, guys, a little update. Corvette's back in here because it, it fit on the trailer, but not far up enough for it to strap down and the tongue weight wasn't there. So he has to figure that out. I don't know if we're driving it or what. And I'm back in the booth, and think about it, we have to bring these today to the place. And I'm repainting the bumper, because I didn't like how it looked. It needs to be more yellow, and I didn't want to blunt the fenders, because there's too much white that you would see from the back of the fender well to the front. You would see the difference. The blend you wouldn't see, but you would see the difference behind the wheel to the front, that it's a different color. So I'm trying to get on the bumper. This time I only have this to do today so I can focus on it and not rush so it should turn out and uh, I'm gonna take my time and I have to bake it and then I'm gonna go to lunch and then I'm gonna bake it again and then we're gonna put it on and go to the show so wish me luck if all fails I'll bring the 93 Cobra and the Corvette so let's just see if I can get it done there it is guys got it cleared there's a little bit of dirt and stuff in the top I'm not gonna be able to buff out so people can judge if they want, but it is currently noon, 11.45. I just hit bake, so we're gonna bake this stuff. And uh, I'm gonna go to lunch right now. And when I get back, there's a spray on card I did. When I get back, it should be all dry, but I'm gonna go through the bake cycle again, just because it's so fresh and I'll be putting it on. So I'm gonna double bake it. And uh, while I'm baking it the second time, we're gonna put the big spoiler on, or the wing, whatever you guys wanna say. And we'll try to make this show. All right guys, I'm back from lunch. I just hit bake again. We're gonna do the big wing on the back. It's 145. The lady in charge of the car show hit me up, texted me on the way when I was back here, asking me to bring these as soon as possible. This still needs the wing put on the whole front bumper and the front bumper is not even dry. So I'm a little stressed, but let's get this wing on. I'll try to video some of it, but I'm kind of rushing. Well, that's nice. This one just spins, it won't come free. So now I gotta deal with that.
All right, guys, got it all off. There's huge holes in here for the spoiler. But I boffed it the best I could. There is some imperfections in here. Like that, that's a deep scratch that won't wet sand. It kind of sucks. But we're gonna throw it on now, see how it looks. Well, there it is. I forgot the sides at home, so I'm kind of screwed there. I'll have to put them on at the show. But it looks pretty sweet. It kind of makes a GTR look like a GTR in my opinion. But now we gotta get the bumper on. It is now 3.15. I gotta go get my daughter, which takes 10 minutes. So it'll be 3.30 by the time I get back. I still have to get this on. We're way behind. So I'm kind of rushing. All right, guys, he's out. I got this as good as I could together. The color's a tiny bit off still. It is what it is, I don't even care, I'm over it. We were supposed to be there an hour and a half ago. And uh, yeah, we're heading out. So I didn't video because that's how big of a hurry I am. I'll show you more when we get there. All right, guys. We are on our way to Winterfest. I got the car done. I know I didn't show you a lot at the end because I'm frustrated. It is uh, 4.45, I think. I was supposed to be there at three. She tried to tell me to get there sooner than three, so we're way, way behind. And since we're a vendor spot, uh, we're on the edge, so it's probably a huge hassle for them, so I'm sorry if, if you're watching this. But we're going there now, and uh, the Corvette's behind me, the C8. I don't know if you can see him back there, but he's following me. We're going together. And uh, the next video is gonna start off right where we left off right now with this convo. So we'll show you the show, some cars that are in there before the show starts, uh, parking the cars and stuff like that. So thanks for watching the wing and bumper install. I know it's very hectic, but I'll show you the car in the next video, which will come out pretty quick. It's not gonna take a week, it'll be like the next day probably. So make sure you watch that. And uh, thanks for watching.